We have to do anything with that. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wedding Wednesday. I'm Sarah. I'm the CEO of Honey Fund. This is my friend Katie, an event planner and all around awesome lady when it comes to cocktails, DIY, and anything having to do with events. Hey, everybody. And welcome to another Wedding Wednesday. We're broadcasting live from Honey Fund headquarters in Sebastopol, California. And it's a beautiful day here. Um, of course, it's the holidays. Today is December 16th. We have just wrapped up Hanukkah at my house and we're getting ready for Christmas. And of course, we had to celebrate just a little bit with some swag today. And if you caught our little um, Bitmoji uh, Wedding Wednesday Instagram um, image, you would see that we were wearing special holiday sweaters. So I'm gonna pull up our feed here so we can see who's joining in if you're joining us for the first time. Wedding Wednesday is a show where we bring you really great um, DIY ideas for your wedding as well as always a signature cocktail and I'll let Katie tell you more about why we do that. Um, well, we do signature cocktail because our show starts at 4 and for most people that's cocktail hour. Exactly. And um, I'm a really big believer in cocktails and, <laughs> and I also love the idea of having a signature cocktail at your wedding. That's something that sort of... Um, I don't know, personifies you and, and your um, partner. I, I just think it's a great idea. I think it's really fun. I think it's fun to have at any event, really. Totally. Um, something people kind of can remember um, you by, and I think it's a good way to sort of be on trend and whatever, so. For sure. All right, well, we're just bringing up uh, the broadcast on our little screen here so we can see who joined in. Um, say hello to us if you just joined. Um, we usually have people from all over the country, even all over the world, join us. and. Um, if you share us out to your Twitter followers, we can get a few more people in the broadcast. All you have to do is swipe up on your uh, iPhone or left to right on your Android phone and um, click the share button. There's uh, sharing out to Facebook, Twitter, Periscope followers, and people will just get a little ping on their phone to tune into the broadcast. So we'll give them a few more minutes. I'll let Katie maybe share something about her week. I know she's planning a huge um, Christmas dinner. Yeah, my week has been kind of crazy. I don't. I don't really know how we are already at the 16th of December but yeah I have I do Christmas dinner for about 30 people at my house so that is so insane I, I, I have insane a small family way. so I can't even imagine having any dinner for 30 people that wasn't like catered by someone well I mean usually I think this year I'm gonna hold off on the eggnog till after the meals cook <laughs> the meat was a little well done last year so <laughs> I love it <laughs> but yeah it's exciting it's fun and I have little kids so that's you know, super Christmas cool. is always a, a fun time of year. A little crazy, but awesome. Awesome. All the same. Cool. Well, we'll get started. Um, if you're just joining us, this is Wedding Wednesday from Honey Fund, and we are coming to you live from our headquarters in Sebastopol, California. We're going to share some great DIY ideas as well as our signature cocktail, which I will let Katie start off with. Okay. So for our signature cocktail today, I have a little spin on the mimosa, and a mimosa is traditionally champagne and orange juice, and last winter I went on the Napa wine train with my in-laws and they served us mimosas and one of the options was cranberry juice. Oh, I love that. And so that's been sort of my go-to for mimosa for the last year and I thought it would be great for today. I think seasonally it's such a pretty color, but I also love the idea of mixing up a traditional drink for a signature cocktail. Um, I was telling Sarah earlier that I was in Denver recently and they have our hotel served bottomless mimosas in the morning and the, the name of that hotel. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. Um, I, I never left the hotel. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I would either. I went straight for a nap. <laughs> and the choices were grapefruit juice, cranberry, or orange juice, which I love the idea of doing some sort of, um, you know, like a mimosa bar at your event where you can have the champagne already poured. Yeah. And then people can add their own juice. You could do mango, you could do peach, you could do all these different choices. And I think that's so a really fun idea. Um, yeah, I think you can do it any time of year. I think cranberry is perfect for this time of year, but it would be yeah. it's refreshing and yes. delicious. So, so I'm just gonna... of course, a couple. We'll say hello to some people that joined in. Um, let's see who we've got today. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Christine. Hey, Josh. Who else do we have in the broadcast? Uh, do a little comment in if you're just joining us or if you have never been in our Wedding Wednesday broadcast These are before. Some We'd love to say hello. Big mimosas. We're getting a lot of hearts. I guess for pouring champagne. <laughs> Maybe it's my hat. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hi, nice to meet you. And we would need some other people to chat in and say hello. Of course, we always uh, invite your questions during the broadcast. Sometimes we see them, sometimes we don't. And if we don't, then 
Of course, you can always post to our YouTube video or our blog where we share every episode of Wedding Death Wednesday. Hat. Right, Rach? I mean, yeah. this, so me. This behind the scenes, I will just tell you that this hat was purchased for a five year old child. Yes, this is my my <laughs> child has wacky hat day on Friday. But, but hey, today's wacky Katie, wedding Wednesday. Yeah, Katie can pull it off for sure. It's itchy as all hell though. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sequins. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's try this cranberry it's, it's mimosa. Really good. By the way, this is like a rose from Corbell. Corbell is a local um, winery that makes sparkling. Of course, it's a nationally known brand, but if you ever want to visit, it's right here in Sonoma County. It's delish. Cheers. I mean, it's really good with cranberry. Just wait. Oh, that's so good. So this is what I love about this version of a mimosa is that it's not syrupy sweet like a yeah. like an orange juice one would be. And this might be TMI, but the orange juice ones give me a little bit of heartburn. Heartburn. Okay, we can have acid. that when we're drinking mimosas. <laughs> no, it slows you down. <laughs> You're like, hold up, just wait a second. How am I going to pound this? <laughs> it's really light and refreshing. It's I love it. And I don't, as I've gotten older, I just don't like sweet drinks. And no. so mm -hmm. this is like really nice and refreshing and tart. Yes. Perfect. All right, well, while we are enjoying our mimosa, I will let Katie tell us about this gorgeous DIY that she brought today. It's the centerpiece, right? Yes, so I decided for my DIY today that I wanted to do some sort of holiday themed centerpiece. So I went to Michael's and we've been talking a lot in the last couple weeks about taking advantage of not only seasonal sales, but like actual seasonal items yeah. this time of year um, sure. to take advantage of getting them now for your wedding. And I, the cranberries, I actually had from our drink last week. So yeah. I got those at the grocery store. I got this base, really inexpensive at Michael's. And then I just got all these little gold things and sort of played around until it looked, I thought it looked pretty. Yeah. And um, it does look pretty. Yeah. And so my, I, one of the things, I knew I wanted to do something gold. Everything that I'm seeing is that gold is huge in weddings for 2016. It was also in 2015. And not just for winter, but also for spring and summer weddings. Yeah. And so I thought that this would be great to, to sort of push forward that idea that if you if you go out shopping now, you can get this, like all of this stuff is 65% off because Christmas is next week. Exactly. So, and there's, it's really limitless what you could do with this. Another reason I chose this is that I think brides are really starting to move away from floral centerpieces. It's so much money. It's thousands of dollars. Yeah. That is only good that day. I mean, really, yeah. And let's face it, like it, they're so gaudy that like you can't see the people around right. the other side of the table. Right. And so this is something this that's just like sort of simple, and you could make it monochromatic. Like it could be just all gold. I really am into monochromatic things lately. Mm -hmm. But you could also use smaller vases, different levels around it with actual floral arrangements, but smaller, so it's not that cost heavy right. sort of idea. And so I really like that. I like yeah. that it could be done affordable and then it's something sort of different. Yeah. So, um, and you know, we were talking about it before the broadcast, Katie was saying she estimated this just one centerpiece cost for maybe $15. Compare that to a floral arrangement that would be $40, $50 per piece. And then think about the fact that you could get different shapes of vases from different places on sale or you could go to thrift stores and right. pick up a random assortment of things. You can borrow them. I know that um, so many of my friends have um, resold like packages of whatever their wedding was on Craigslist yeah. afterwards. So mm -hmm. if you're looking at those kinds of things, yeah. you can pick up a bunch of different faces. And yeah. I think it's, you know, it's we've really moved away from everything looking identical everywhere yeah. at a wedding, which I, I love and I think this is like, yeah. really lends itself to that. Definitely. And I also love the fact that it's not really perishable like right. over a couple of days, whereas flowers would start to even mm -hmm. look the next day. So you could actually contact, you know, a lot of times at wedding venues, there's two weddings in a weekend. Right. You could contact the other bride and say, hey, let's share these centerpieces, split the cost, we'll just leave them right on the tables, right. we'll share the rentals of the tables, the dance floor, the linens. Absolutely. And everything is like to half the cost. That's one of my favorite wedding tips and anything you do like this that's non-perishable lends itself really well to that. Right. And another thing, because, you know, I'm always, that's the other DIYs I always end up doing are things that sort of help you remember your wedding like you could save one of these like yeah yeah instead of saving your laying like bouquet that's like dried out like you right. used to do the prom and stuff yeah. and you're like what the hell am I doing with these brown flowers <laughs> like, <Right. a> <laughs> around them. like you could actually save yeah. the arrangement and put it somewhere in your house yeah. as a decoration as a decoration or whatever you know I think and you could even like you know put your name and the date or whatever on the base to save it or, or whatever that's a great idea all of that stuff I think is a huge bonus for this kind of a centerpiece and the other thing that I love is that if you were going to use this in spring or summer or fall, you could use a different statement color mm -hmm. along with the gold. So imagine in spring like a really bright coral or some other kind of 
um, you know, bold spring color. Mm -hmm. um, go really well with the gold. Same in summer. Silver. And, and even the silver, or even gold and silver together. The other thing that I, um, I kind of, I wanted to do, but it didn't really... Um, pan out is that you know there's those LED lights that are battery operated to get actual oh, yeah. light inside of them yeah which could be really pretty that depending on what your venues like I just mean, like short strands that are battery powered so you right. don't so have to like plug it in you wind them inside oh what a great yeah. idea and then that way there's like it's really illuminated in like Ooh. a dark reception. And a dark reception and it would light all this stuff up from the bottom so pretty I or even those idea. like battery operated tea light kind of things you could probably put them in yeah. there somehow so we'll find some links to some of those ideas yes. and post them on the blog. Absolutely. Um, after after the broadcast today, we always post our Wedding Wednesday broadcast both to YouTube and then to the Honey Fun blog, which lives at honeyfun.com slash blog. And all of our uh, recipes for the cocktails, all of the DIY projects and instructions are always posted there for you to look at and share, pin, whatever you like to do. Right. And then, I'll, and then they'll also be put on our Pinterest too. So that Yes. You know, we have a wedding Wednesday anyway. Pinterest board that you can follow to get all the pictures of what we do and, and the instructions for yep. putting them together. So speaking of um, putting stuff together, we just, <laughs> Honey Fun just put I together a really great <laughs> holiday giveaway. Is We're giving away $500. Um, and all you have to do is just go to our blog, honeyfun.com slash blog. The giveaway is posted there. And we are um, really excited that in 2015 we were able to really do a lot of kind of new things for Honey Fun and bring a lot more great features to our couples. So we're celebrating by giving away $500. We were also nominated for a Weddy Award this year, which is a great honor from Wedding Wire. Uh, we were nominated in the most creative use of technology category, and you can vote for us on the giveaway. There's, I think, like 25 ways to enter. You can enter all of the ways if you want to to get 25 entries and um, you'll be in the running to win $500. You can share it out to your friends to earn even more entries. It's a pretty cool system uh, as far as giveaways go. So check that out, honeyfun.com slash blog. Make sure you vote for Honey Fun and the Weddy Awards. And um, yeah, just share it and we really appreciate all the love and, and it's been exciting to bring all these new features to Honey Fun Couples this year. Things like the universal registry tool, which allows you to register for anything on the web right on your Honey Fun page. Things like our registry retail partnership where you can now link your retail registries like Macy's, Bed Bath & Beyond, things like that to your Honey Fund directly and that gives more options for your wedding guests. And then of course we partnered with some of the other Shark Tank companies under Kevin O'Leary uh, to bring exclusive discounts to each other's customers. So you can get exclusive discounts on Wicked Good Cupcakes, Bottle Breacher, and recently we added Frill Clothing which is a super cute um, bridesmaid dresses company out of Southern California. So definitely uh, when you sign up for Honey Fun, you'll get those offers and check out our giveaway, honeyfun.com slash blog. Awesome. I think that's it for today. Did yeah. you want to throw in anything else? The only other thing I was gonna um, throw in um, a bargain that I found that I thought was such a good idea through, um, Walmart is doing these crazy good discounts on any kind of photo gift. And it occurred to me that so many people are getting engaged right now that they yes. are going to want to do maybe photo save the dates. So it's a really awesome time to order those yeah. if you've already done your engagement pictures or whatever it is. Um, save the dates. Or if you've already been married and you're sending photo thank you cards yeah. to go through them to get yeah. it at a huge discount. I think it's free shipping and like it's so Pretty inexpensive. Awesome and if you're stuff. just uploading professional photos, you know, it, yeah. it's perfect. And, and they I also have um, canvases, all kinds of things that I think... Yeah. Are super beneficial. Just another one of those things that to take advantage of this yes, time of year. During this time of year, and actually, Walmart's photo department, I can vouch for them. They're actually one of the few left that still prints matte photos mm -hmm. at like the you know the the um, drug store type right. stores. You know, if you go to Rite Aid or CVS, you can't get a matte. Mm -hmm. Most stores you can't get a matte anymore, but Walmart still does matte. So even if you're looking to print um, extra copies of your wedding photos mm -hmm. that you from your wedding from last year. It's a great deal Honey and pictures, they, the whatever, quality yeah. is actually really there, which I was surprised. And I also think photo books, I know we did photo books after our wedding for like our parents with the whole, you know, our rehearsal, everything in it. Yeah. It's a really great way to do it. And then my other the idea that I love for the canvases is having um, canvas pictures at your wedding, like at the cake table of, you know, your parents oh, cutting yeah. their cake at their wedding, your grandparents cutting, yeah. whatever, like old wedding pictures yeah. on canvas is such a, Reprint such a sweet it. idea. That and is. And it's a, you know it's inexpensive, and then you can then get those 
to, right. to those people or whatever. I love, oh, that, I idea. love that idea and give them after the wedding. Mm -hmm. Awesome. See, she always brings amazing ideas every week. <laughs> always thinking. <laughs> so this will be our last wedding Wednesday until after the new year. So we hope you have a wonderful holiday season at home with your family or wherever you are. And um, of course, check out our um, social media. We are on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and Periscope, of course. And follow us, like us, share. Um, we always love to hear from you. Post your questions or tweet at us. We will always answer your questions right away. And of course, you'll find a copy of this broadcast on YouTube and on our blog, honeyfun.com slash blog. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. holidays. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us. Have a great one. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Cheers.